Hello, and my name is John, and uh, I live in Iowa, and uh, I've had some friends tell me I should post some videos on my pheasants. These are my pheasants I hatched out over the summer. They're going to be my breeding stock. I've got a couple pins, uh, breeders, and, and uh, they're nice, nice birds. Um, we've got some nice, nice tail feathers on uh, these. It's raining here in Iowa. We've had some uh, cold days. We've got down to minus 15, uh, minus 18, and uh, 30, 40 degree wind chill. So it's been cold. It's the first warm day. We've actually got some uh, rain coming in, but I've got about 100 breeders. I got another pin that I'll film, but it's taken me a while to figure out how to raise pheasants. And uh, I think I'm going to uh, start sharing uh, the, the best ways in my experience on raising pheasants. It's, it's taken me a few years. And I started with, as you can see, no, no money. I've built all my pins with uh, next to nothing. I mean, you can see the, the, the fence up there is nothing pretty used lumber. Um, and I just want to... Uh, go through my my pins show you we'll do some pin construction uh, this spring that'll video on video hatches I've got incubators that I've got little to next no month to no money in and um, I can hatch thousands of thousands of eggs uh, I plan on doing some live feeds in, in my brooders that I've built uh, and like I say I've built the brooders next to nothing and um, put do some live feeds in the brooders and in the incubators just to show um, how to raise pheasants. I know I've looked out on the internet, there's not much out there, and um, I, I'd like to start putting information out there, say my birds have done real well, and we're gonna build more pins. Um, we're gonna do, kind of uh, build price more brooders. We'll be, we'll be hatching out uh, thousands of, of birds this year. And like I say, with with next to no money um, into all the equipment and and the pins, cages, and, and so on. So if anybody's interested, I'm gonna I'll go film my my other birds. But as you can see, these birds are about seven months old. They've got it's raining, so their their feathers are kind of matted down. But they've got some nice tail feathers, good quality birds. Um, and like I say, I just want to uh, walk through the day in the life of pheasant raising. Um, I also have bobwhite quail that I raise that will be hatching out uh, thousands of them come uh, the next couple months and I'll be filming and documenting uh, that process so if anybody's interested in, in me posting uh, videos for the next year and, and kind of showing the day in the life of raising game birds and um, how I do it and how I'm successful uh, just let me know let me go to my, my next pin. So here's my other pin with, uh, say I've got more, more birds in here, nice looking birds. I total, I have about a hundred uh, pheasant that I kept back for breeding for eggs. So it will be interesting to see how many eggs I get this year. I also can go through some of my tips and what I've learned uh, just for the feeds that I feed to get good egg production, to uh, bringing them up when they're young. I, I don't buy my feed pre-mixed. I make all my feed. Like I say, I, I didn't have a lot of money starting out and I wanted to raise game birds and I wanted to be competitive. And uh, I've, I've found that me making my own feed um, is probably half the price, half the cost. And kind of what, what I found, what to look out for as far as uh, how old, what what proteins, how much protein uh, they need, and uh, some of my learning experiences. If they don't have the the correct proteins, what to expect um, at what ages? So again, these are I've got a few turkeys in there that we hatched out, mainly pheasants. You see a couple. There's a couple quail in here too, but I have other pins with quail, my breeders that we have uh, Bob White. Uh, quail and we have um, the meat quail, the the uh, jumbo quail. So 
I will, like I say, I'm going to start posting a uh, day in the life of um, a game bird breeder. Again, with, with next, to, next to no money and all the equipment, um, brooders, hatchers, pins. Uh, so if, if you don't have a lot and you would like to raise birds, you know, just to let you know you don't need you don't need a lot of money to get started. Once you get a few started, then you can sell them and, and kind of upgrade from there. But uh, like I say, a lot of nice looking birds. And uh, it is January right now. And uh, we will, in the next couple months, as it, we get into spring, we start laying, we'll be hatching, and we'll be full force into uh, expanding the, the game bird farm. So, I will be posting videos if if I get some interest please please let me know leave a comment and I'll surely uh, keep posting videos and also if there's any certain areas of, of raising game birds that you've had issues with and uh, would like videos posted on please let me know all right thank you